Right folks, it is Sunday the 19th of November. Um, I've been down a few times over the last few weeks um, and I've made a few little videos of different things so it's just an update and also if you can see up there my new water storage. Um, I've done a little bit of work on the pond and my raspberries, are, my new raspberries, my Joan J are in. So just a quick update. Um, spring cabbage so spring greens, well, they never look right fantastic, do they? Um, some things getting in, I you've got some slugs eating a few of them. But to be honest, out of all them, um, if I should get enough for me and the wife. Um, purple sprouting broccoli, just sitting, ticking away nicely. These strawberries, just dying back really. Me blackberries, thornless blackberries, just dormant now. Um, as you can see, I've been collecting leaves. I've about 40 bags. Um, I'm gonna. I've had a tidy in this corner. You can't tell because of all the bags, but I've, I've finished the fence rail down to the bottom. If you can just see down there, the sort of two rows of six by one that goes all the way into the bottom now. So the fence is trapped top and bottom. The chicken wire is held in. So I'm going to build a leaf bin in the corner across there a wide one and then i'll finish the coffin bed up to it <clears throat> um i'm not sure when i'm going to be able to get that done because i go for an operation in two weeks i've got a couple of varicose veins that are popping out my legs not looking forward to that but at least they're putting me to sleep so but unfortunately we're working full time it only gives me a couple of weekends and I've got to spend at least one day at weekend with my good lady. So I've only got a couple of days left on the allotment before I go and I'm going to be off till after Christmas. So there is, there are, sorry, the new raspberry canes. I don't know if you can make them out. They're in tucked in there now. Nice. I've done a little video on that. I've spread them out equally. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll try and be really clever and I'll stop now and I'll try and insert the video. Right folks, sorry about the wind. Um, today I have me raspberries, my Joan J raspberries um, are going in bare root. Really lovely plants there, really lovely bare rooted plants. So what I've done is I've pulled back all the hops that was on the top and then I've dug a trench all the way down the middle to the end and then what I've done is I've just flicked over the bottom to rough it up as you can see there I've put some river sand in and I'll come round here some used tater compost so just a bit of used tater compost I had and some uh, river sand, some sharp sand. So I've mixed a bit of that in the bottom, just, to, just for a bit of extra drainage. Over winter, I don't want these little roots sat in water. So, starting at this end, like I say, dug the trench, peeled everything back, dug all the compost out, but just kept that in buckets. And I've put river sand all the way down, then a layer of compost. Turn that in, just flicked in a little bit, and then sit the, um, God, you know my brain's gone dead, sit the raspberry in, and literally just, just make sure all the roots are spread out nicely. Just move my way on. Then I've just covered with some of the compost that, that I've dug out from in here. This is really, really rich moisture retentive compost because um if you remember this bed these raspberry beds were built up with a lot of composted bark and composted um i'm having a really bad day today for remembering um composted hops so and they've really composted in and made it really humus rich so then once i've put them in all i've done is then i've just pulled back the hops and I've just leveled the, the, the bed out. So really, really dead easy 
Um, I've just it's not easy doing it one-handed so I've, like I said I've done it in a bit of a succession so dig the hole rather than dig a hole I've done a trench it's easier because you can spread the roots out then um, I'm trying to talk quickly because I don't want them sat in the air you don't want these roots exposed to the air for very long um, you can't see now I've, I've had them in a bin liner overnight really wet um, so once I've put them all in I'll get back to you Right folks, that's the Joan J raspberries all tucked into bed now, all the mulch pulled back. What I would say is if you're planting this time of year, which is when you're supposed to plant the bare root fruit, um, make sure if your soil is wet and claggy, you don't compress the soil too hard around the roots. Don't push, you know, when, when you putting in plants and stuff you, you, you really you know get rid of any air pockets and push the soil in nice and tight around the root ball at this time of year with it being all wet and claggy don't push it in too much make sure this is why I've used some of the other compost so that um, the spent potato compost and the sand mix will get in around the roots um, and then when I've put the compost back on top that I've taken out of here to, to level it back up I've just pushed it down firmly but not too too hard don't go mental with it um so yeah right that's it for today uh, I'll be back down tomorrow because I'm finishing building the house for the water container so I shall see you later bye bye for now right <laughs> well if all went well there you saw exactly what I did with them raspberries I'm not the world's best but I have managed to get some software uh, for, for for video editing I am trying my best to make a little bit better videos for you I really appreciate people putting up with you know they are amateur videos it's an iPhone um, anyway so the rhubarbs fat fingers again there there and up there dormant strawberries bizarre starting to flower again but what's weird is the runners are flowering so I'm just letting them die back and I'm gonna just trim them all down to the ground give them a good clean up beetroot just sitting there not doing really great much but they're not hurting out they don't need no, so I'm just leaving them um, more leaves I managed to take the two big spikes out of here because these won't need a central spike so so more leaves the manure and coffee grounds and I'm I can't remember where I told you um I get eggshells and I get banana skins and I dry them blitz them and I make a powder out of them and I mix that in with my coffee grounds so yeah under there there's that and hops so a couple of <laughs> a couple more bags um I've pulled some parsnips today really chuffed really lovely parsnips um, tops looking a bit knackered now tear berries well same again sitting dormant <coughs> excuse me my winter collies um, all seem to be going all right apart from that one that's been scoffed so uh, the little gooseberry over there that's sat dormant my sprouts oh I'm happy with my sprouts I've never really grown sprouts before properly They've been chewed a bit on outside, I don't know if you can see, but inside they're absolutely fine. Um, I'll see if I can get in here. And... They're absolutely fine, they're lovely. I'll be taking some more of them. The black kale, Tusco, I can't even remember what it's called, I can't even say it, but black kale anyway. So, <clears throat> leeks, fine, doing well, no problems some about an inch and a half two inch some a good inch pond pond's ready for its liner i've just put a ring around the top i am doing a separate video for the wildlife pond but i'll just keep putting the updates in and as you can see i've filled in all around the side with compost i've put some ivy on the walls the little plants that i've put in the walls there just starting to die back my little apple tree and my gooseberry they're just dormant now there's a geranium there to go in 
So, this little strawberry plants off my runners. They're just sitting there dormant now. They, I'm going to put them in in the spring. Um, kale. What can I say about my curly kale? There's me and half of where I live eating it and there's still plenty left. Um, nearly finished the patio. Last bit down here. <clears throat> now, the project that I've been working on over the last few weeks, the water container and its new home. Um, I have done a bit of a separate video on that. So, once again, I am going to try and stop this video and edit it in and then come back to you. All right, sorry about the shadow. Um, we're almost ready for the water container. As you can see, I built a platform out of bricks, just recycled bricks. Um, I did rows because I thought there was a centre support but there isn't it's just all the way around so what I'm going to do is sit the frame that's there upside down at the moment sit the frame on there excuse me and I'm going to build a, a roof and this is going to be build a, build a roof up at the top of the water container and put some kind of storage in it so right I'll get back to you when I've put the water container in right folks so next stage I've got the water container in and I'm just starting to build a frame around it um, if you can see there I've just put some sides up um, what my plan is I'm gonna put a deck on there I'm going to close it in and I'm going to put a little pitched roof up to the shed so that will keep it dry and two little doors on there and I'll have a compartment to store whatever really uh, just, just so I don't waste any space so that's it for now alright folks so next stage here's the frame up um, I've put a decking on there so that I can put use that as storage. I'll just move down here. Sorry about the shadow. You'll see in a minute. Um, I've put a lean two roof on it. I'll board that and felt that in, and then I can put some guttering down there and feed it round. So I'll put some doors on there, and that can be storage. So that's ready to go now almost finished I'll close this side and I'm not going to close back in um, I have up there in the top so all right and then uh, I'll show you with it in in a more all right folks there it is in its new home um, basically what you see here um, this little sort of sequence of videos it's all apart from a bit of sand and cement used to lay them bricks and the screws and nails to put that together everything there was free scrounged pallet wood some pieces laid a piece laid up there um some more pieces left here these are actually from believe it or not big shipping pallets for fridges uh, we have a couple of big companies around here big freight companies so really lucky in getting uh, decent pallet wood not just your little sort of four by three quarter four by ones and stuff so right hopefully next weekend roof fascias gutters okay bye bye for now right well i hope that worked so it's in situ on its little plinth that you've just seen hopefully um I just didn't I just didn't want to waste the space so I'm gonna put some doors on there and that can be storage and I should get more water off that little roof and the big roof now a job that I wanted to do before my operation but I don't think I'm gonna get a chance is the tree just to tidy the tree just to take that branch out and some of that branch out and there's a lot of dead wood in the tree so it's more about looking after the tree taking all the dead wood out some crossing and just generally tidying it up and opening it up a little bit because I, I love the tree you know I've got some birds nesting boxes to go on 
I've got um, a little, like a, a bee hotel that I've made. I just threw it together out of some scraps and some bamboo, um, drilled them out. So I've got that to put up somewhere. So compost ticking away nicely. That middle bay is empty still. So, right, that's it now. Um, I think probably we're looking in the new year now, folks, um, for an update video or a video of anything really because I'm not going to be really doing much over Christmas and at New Year so but I really really do appreciate people that follow me I love your comments some funny one or two you know that you don't like some things brilliant if there's something you don't like please tell me we can discuss it you know th this allotment is how I do it it's not how everybody's got to do it you know I personally don't like water-based um, stains and preservatives I use oil-based ones um, it's a Korea sorty type um, not not Korea soap because that's banned obviously but you know an oil-based wood stain and preservative I just don't see how the water-based wood preservatives can look after wood and preserve wood when they're made of water um, I like oil-based but I don't put it near you know my plants so by the time this gets filled up this will have had plenty of rain on it it'll have washed out I'll be washing out the drum cleaning it all out um, and there will be no contamination getting in there whatsoever um, I've redone the back of the shed I did re stain the side of the shed before I built all this I did put I did treat the whole of the shed side um because i'm not gonna be able to get to that that i b c i c b i can never know that 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 just slides out and slides in so if anything ever happens to that it is the standard size so i can slide that in and out so right folks signing off from the plot like i say if this is your first chance you've watched it please look through my videos i am going to try over christmas and do a little bit of a combo video of when i started because I see, I re, to say I've only been on here a year, I'm really chuffed with how I've got on uh, and what I've managed to get done. Um, I do work full time and I do struggle with hard work. <laughs> you people are going to laugh, but I, I, I do I had a stroke a few years ago and I do struggle to dig and things. So I have to take it easy. But this, if you can accomplish this in a year by having a few hours here and a few hours there and a few hours here anybody can do it you know yes i know i'm a joiner but trust me when i say this has not been done with my joiner's head on it is rough it's thrown together really easily you know if anybody wants to know how i've done it i will show demonstrate how to make roof rafters anything whatever you want i don't mind um so once again i'm waffling on now but thank you very very much um and uh, if, if I don't see you before, have a good holidays. Bye-bye.